I have been searching for Shining Charizard for months and still found nothing. But the other day, I was sulking in bed when I stumbled across EB Games, who were selling sealed Elite Trainer Box cases of Shining Fates ETBs. After a bit of thinking about how my accountant would kill me, I bought it. guys, today's video wouldn't have been possible without today's amazing sponsor, Genshin Impact. More specifically, 1.5 Beneath the Light of Jedi. Now guys, if you don't know too much about Genshin Impact, basically it's like an open world action uh, sort of video game that anyone can play and download right now. It's cross-platform as well, so you can either get it on PC, mobile, even PlayStation. Um, and when you download it, there's actually a new sort of mode where there's co-op, up to four players. Now, if you're thinking, I don't know which one to download it on, I would personally probably recommend the PC option, just because the visuals, if you, like, get it right on the PC, oh my god, they are fantastic. But now, guys, it's an absolute perfect time to start playing, because there's two new characters. We've got Yula and Yanfi right here, but we are also welcoming back a crowd favorite, Zhongli. So, if you haven't got him, now's the time to act. He's basically like a 5 star ranked playable character, and he provides basically defense for his allies. But on top of that guys, there's brand new weapons and artifacts, including the Song of Broken Pines. Are you looking at that sword right there? Now my favorite personal part about this game is indeed the monsters, and there are brand new monsters to try and go and find. So as I mentioned, Zaha is this ancient dragon that can be changed its elements at will, causing the surroundings to literally change on top of that. How epic is this thing? So guys, come join me, download Genshin Impact today, and if you're brand new to the game, I'm gonna leave a code right here or in the description, and definitely use that bad boy if you're brand new to the game, because it may or may not get you 60 Prior Gem or 10,000 Mora. Definitely worth checking out, but make sure your adventure gets to level 10 um, before you enter it in, and also use it before June 9th, before it expires. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is honestly the craziest Unlist the Leak video I've ever filmed. So if you've ever demolished the like button, please let it be this one. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. But without further ado, let's open up the very first ETB right here. Alright, so I think for the sake of everyone's sanity that's about to take place, like there's a hundred packs to be opened, I'm actually just going to uh, skip past me opening up the plastic seal and sort of cut to the boosters being on the table because... This is going to be a long video. Get your Costco big bag of popcorn out because holy smokes, you're going to need it. Like, I'm talking one of those novelty sized bags of popcorn. Alrighty, so we've got right here our very first EV VMAX promo card. This is going to be in every single ETB, as you guys know. If you haven't seen a Shining Fates Elite Trainer Box opening, I've got, I've got like 10,000 on the channel, so definitely go back, check them out. But this right here is going to. Oh! I think I see something. I literally think I see something. If I get Charizard on the first pack, I will give the 99 other booster packs away right now. I promise. You ready? Luxio, this would be ridiculous. More Pico, Cacnea, Chutzel, Spinarat, got the Qfan. Oh, Celebi reverse. And on the first booster, we go and get Skylar Full Art. Oh, sugar. Skylar Fuller on the very first booster, but ladies and gentlemen, even though we've got a pulled one of the most expensive trainer cards in the entire set, we gotta keep it moving. We have 90, well, 98 right now, boosters to open up today, and we are searching for one card in particular that I still haven't found, Charizard, but that is not the only one. If I can't get Charizard, I want to go home with at least one shiny Suicune, because I haven't found that either. That would be the greatest thing ever. But I also realize there's another card I'm pretty keen for. Oh, regular Red Dreadnought. And that's a Grimmsnarl shiny full art. Either the regular V or the V Max, they both look really cool. They're not that expensive, but that's a card I'm pretty keen to get as well. So. I'll take any of those. Today, we're just going to go hunting. I'm going to open Shining Fates till I drop dead. And I hope you guys are keen for it. I saw so many comments asking for it. We got Snom. We got Qfan. Oh, reverse. And then, more Pico as the VMAX pool. But we got to keep it moving pretty fast. I think the thing is, right, 
with these big bulk openings so it doesn't get too like, oh my gosh, Andrew, you're still going? We'll keep it moving pretty fast. I'm also going to give away every code card I ever get out of this whole opening right now. So, if you want a code card, all you do, pause the video, take one, and leave the rest for other people. Because there's going to be so many to give away. There's going to be so many available. So make sure you stay not- Oh, that's not bad! Okay, shiny Rillaboom. So make sure you stick around and uh, share around the code cards. But shiny Rillaboom to stop the shiny trade-off. Is it leaving the station? It is indeed. All right, hammer in with 140. So this is pretty cool. This also comes a full-up card, which is pretty awesome as well. Playing the drums. Look at him, he's epic. He really wants to be a part of like a band or something. Okay, shiny Rillaboom. And what do we got? About five boosters left. We're about halfway through the first ETB, which is kind of scary. Now, usually the best part is you're guaranteed about one full up per elite trainer box. And I'm hoping that gives us 10 opportunities to get what we need. Um, but in any case, we should get a few shinies and I'm hoping it's going to be blue. It's going to be that Suicune. Ready, more Pico. And then, oh mama. Okay, we're getting the shiny full ups right now. It's double V card looking absolutely gorgeous. Everyone's favorite. Look at him. He looks awesome. And then, regular Volcanion. Canyon. Okay, full up card acquired. And you know what? We got like five boosters to go. So this is really, really good. This start right here. I don't know about you guys, but I'm thinking the Eternus VMAX is going to show up as well. On the next ETB, I want to show you a graph. Someone worked out all the pull ratios and how many boosters you got to open to acquire like the Charizard, the Eternus. And the ratios are kind of weird. Snom, Trap Inch, uh, regular M Manaphy. Fourth to last booster. Man, I, would, I thought it'd be the funniest thing in the world if we could get something on the uh, very first ETB, but that's okay. Water, Zartrix, got the Bull Guy, Cramorant, got the Eevee as well, got Lucifer, Chutzel, more Pico, Cacnea. Oh, Farlinx is the shiny, that's pretty good. I'll definitely take him. Look at that, brown colored log, and then Frostmoth as the holo card as well. Dude, three boosters to get. This is actually a really good start. Yo, if you're going to get something, you might as well get a Skylar on the very, very first boost you ever open. I mean, hey, I'm hoping some of these ETVs are good. The bit that worries me, I think, is this isn't a sealed case. Like, they've obviously just plucked random ETVs from places, so... It's either going to work out really good in our favor, where there could be more than one Charizard in there, or, because it, it's not a sealed case, we're not going to find Charizard... So it's going to go either way, really big gamble today, and I hope you guys are behind me. I hope you've said your prayers. Unlist the leaf to start things off. Got a Rotom? Come on, full up VMAX. Load Cell, Horsey, Spinneract, Rowlet, more Pico, and then... Oh! Amazing Rare Veltal. I completely forgot about this card. Yo, what an ETB! Amazing Rare as well? Amazing Destruction, looking good. Okay, Corbic Knight. Buddy, you're the last booster. Can you pull through with the magic? There's the code guard. Four from the back. We've got Electric Type, Ball Guy, Team Yotel, The Wacky, Nicket, Horsey, Snom, More Pico, Cacnea, More Pico Reverse, and another full art this time. It is a gorgeous looking Bird Keeper. Wow, that is such a good artwork, isn't it? Okay, this has been a really, really good ETB. It like ticked all the boxes and three full arts out of ten packs. I reckon we got some special ones, boys. I reckon we got the goods. Let's find out what our next ETB is going to contain. You can also sort of tell that these were all taken off the store shelf because they've all still got the price tag on them, which I thought was pretty classic, but let's open up the next ETB. Okay, fingers crossed. All right, so on screen right now, you're looking at an official ratio of what people have worked out the average pull rates of things are. How the heck is the gold card? Like that, that it can't be that rare. I mean, one in a hundred, I still wouldn't even believe. I pulled so many Goldie Tonduses and zero Charizard, so that doesn't make any sense. Charizard being one in every 300 almost is probably spot on. I mean, I feel like I've opened 300 packs by now, but probably not. That's crazy though. So Charizard's like ultra, ultra rare. One in 300, that's not even one in every case of booster boxes if it came in a booster box. It'd be literally worse than that, which is scary. And Eternus, I don't believe, like... 
It has to be less than that. I reckon he turned us about one in every 50. Oh, Grookey, that's so funny. We got Rillaboom, and then we go and pull Grookey, my main man. These starters are going for a Loki fortune as well. So you want to get the starters. How are we pulling Frostmoth everywhere? I don't know. Not a bad start. I love that every start so far, we've got something. And I'm hoping that every ETB, we should be able to get a full out of some kind. I'm curious though, what's the ratio of a shiny Suicune? I reckon it's crazy difficult to try and get. Because I've opened a lot of these products and still haven't found a shiny Suicune or shiny Grimmsnarl. Oh my, are you serious? This is what I'm really, really worried about because I know these aren't from a sealed case and EB Games have obviously taken them from store shelves. Oh, they're playing my SpaghettiOs. A double up of the double right there. We'll come back to it on the recap. Oh, dude. Because today's video is just going to be one solid opening until I've opened either all of these or found what I need, the recap is going to go off. Just like Jimmy Neutron's hairdo. Like, it's going to go absolutely bananas. But this is what worries me. These are obviously plucked from multiple sealed up booster cases from the factory themselves, and they've been put together. So as I mentioned before, it's going to be really good or really bad for us in the fact that they've picked out around what had the Charizard in it, or they've picked out two boxes that do have the Charizard. So my plan is, if we do get the Zard, and I do have a good amount of packs left, I want to give away to you guys at home that are like, watch me do all this. I want to give back to the uh, fans that click the thumbs up button, put up with me searching for the Shining Charizard. <sighs> No, Reverse Weezing and a Volcanion Regular Rare. I just think that'd be really cool. Be able to send out a couple of Shining Fates because I know in America, you got to let me know because in Australia right now, I think I could go to almost any store and they should have Shining Fates available, especially where I'm from in South Australia. But let me know the situation in America because I know it's getting pretty bad at Target where you can't actually find too much of the product. Hollow Indeedy. And I, yeah, if, if it is really, really bad, like I think I have been seeing on social media, I want to send you guys a whole bunch of stuff. Like I want to do a massive giveaway of all of the Shining Fates that I left over when I don't have the goods. I think that'd be really cool for you guys. And if it's not just in America, I think it might be in the UK as well. But in Australia, Pokemon Supply is actually pretty decent. Poltergeist Shiny! Gorgeous Pokemon card. One of the first ever Shining Pokemon I actually pulled out this set. I don't know if you guys remember that. You probably don't because it was so flipping long ago. It's been ages now and a Zerud regular rare. Guys, I hate to be that guy, but I'm going to say it. We've nearly opened up 20 packs already. We are almost going to open up a booster box in like record time. Grammar. Oh no, this... Okay, that one stopped recording. This camera right here... The camera's like, guys, I've already been going too long. I passed out. The battery stopped working. Okay. Ma, oh, it's just a reverse more Pico and a professor's research. As if the camera stopped recording on that one. Guys, I got a bad feeling. Like, it's just going to be a long day, I think, for everyone with this thing. And this opening, it's, I think, one of the biggest tasks I've ever taken out for a holiday set. I know I can do big openings for regular sets, but trying to track down this much of one holiday set is always a tough cookie. Shinx, coughing, horsey, got the Grookey. Oh, wow! More Grim right there as a shiny. Look at the colors. Blue, purple legs. Wow, that's beautiful. And you know what that evolves into? Grim Snow, my main man, which I need to track down. That's probably the last two bad boys I'm really keen to get for the binder. Because I was looking through it earlier, I was like, oh, I still haven't got any Grim Snow. So that'd be a killer one to get. I mean, there's so many. It's like one of the biggest English TCG releases ever. So there is a bunch of regular shinies I need, just like Morgrim there. And there's a few more like Cramorant I think I need. But if I can get uh, any shinies I'm missing, that'd be cool. <sighs> Rillaboom, he's shown up way too much recently. And the final pack of our second ETB. Guys, if you're having fun, let me know. Do you love these big giant bulk openings with Uncle Lando? Watching him go mad. Darkness, Rotom, Floatzel. And then, come on, it's got to have the goods. Or a regular rare mana fee. All right, what are you thinking? Are your hopes diminishing? Are you thinking, Ando, it's still just early days? This is only the third one. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're riding a bicycle, you know, when you're learning to ride and you fall off for the first time, you get back up. You're like, that's all right. I've fallen off the bike. I'm going to get up and start riding the bicycle again. But then on the third time go, you're like, you know what? I'm getting a bit worried. I don't think I'm going to be able to learn to ride a bicycle. But your parents are always like, 
Don't worry, little Timmy, third time's the charm. Or at school, they're like, don't worry, give it another go. Third time lucky. And that's what I'm banking on right now. Third time's the charm. Let this Eevee really pull through with the good. Okay, that's a terrible example at the start. But I'm thinking lucky number three. Let me know in the comments, do you guys believe in superstitions when you're hunting for particular stuff? Are you like, you know what? Third time is the charm. Third time is going to be lucky. This is where Uncle Lando tracks down what he's looking for. We get the goods. Coughing, trap inch, rowlet, shoots all, more pico. And oh my gosh, another more pico VMAX. I'm curious what the most doubled up card is going to be by the end of the, uh, the opening today. At this rate, it is more Pico. I mean, obviously, it's probably going to be Eevee, but right behind that, definitely we pulled two more Picos so far. Come on! I want to. What's our shining fuller of this uh, third ETB going to be? And if it's a double, I quit. I think it's a sign to just get up and leave. Greedent V card. I thought for a minute it was double V card. Like, you're kidding. Okay, Greedent V card. Not too shabby. I'll take a Greedent V. But I need more shinies. Give me a blue shiny with that sweet coon, or a full up Grim Snarl V Max, or I'll take a Ditto. I mean, Ditto, I love that bit of blue chewing gum. Luxio, Snom, Trapping, Schnicket, Boozil. Got the Shinx. Dude, it's all come down. It's come down to the final half of the third box, isn't it? Come on. It was the third EV. Surely he's going to have the goods. Unlisted Leaf Energy right there. Rotom, Shield, Elder Goss. Then we got Boozil, Nickit, Cacnea, Qfont, Eevee, Frostmoth as the Hollow. Five boosters remaining. All right, there's four after this, so this is the fifth one. There you go. I hope these codes are providing the goods, though. I hope you guys are getting, like, Charizards. You're getting everything that I'm not getting. Got the Gym Trainer, the Wacky, Full Load Cell. Come on, Golosopher, Snom, Coughing. Every single booster is a new opportunity. And this is what I'm worried about. This right here is what Uncle Lando is terrified about. The double ups. And especially when it's the shiny double ups. Farling shiny. Celebi regular rare. Man, oh my gosh. So we got full art double two. More Pico V Max. Got two. Farlinks. We've got two. Now, let's try not to get another one. Tropius Trap Inch. I'm very curious at the end of like an 100 booster opening. Oh my! Oh. Birdkeeper. Full art, two. Our second one as well. Is anyone else low key terrified or are you thinking it's. Okay, what's better? Would you rather have a sealed case? Flat out ratios? And by no means does that mean a sealed case is gonna have a Charizard because if Charizard is one in every 300 ish packs. It's more like one in every case of cases has a Charizard inside of it. But, if we're getting a mixed up one right here, so this is clearly two ETBs been plucked from two directions. Is it good or bad? Let me know in the comments. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's another starter. It's a shiny, but I'm getting kind of scared right now. We're going to rail it right here. That's what you, you want your shinies to be starters. But when there's two boosters... And this is going to make up 30 boosters deep. Has it ever gone this quick? I don't think a Pokemon card opening for me has ever gone this quick. Psychic, Ball Guy, Dartrix, Elder Goss, Snom, Qfont, Grookey, Boozil. Final pack. What do you think? Come on, shiny full art, please. Yummity, yummity, yummity. I'm going to do my voodoo dances in a second. I'm going to get up. You're going to start seeing some twerking like you've never seen before. we got to impress Uncle Arceus upstairs. Metal type, I don't know what I just said. Tropius, Shield, Shootzel, Eevee, Nicket, Horsey. Okay, it's a ditto. This is good. This is good. Okay, we are on the ratio of one shiny full up per box deal. It's all good in the hood. Shiny ditto. Every time I see this silver, I absolutely poo my pants. Like, you don't understand the disaster downstairs because we got a shiny ditto V card. What do you think of that blue bit of chewing gum, guys? V transformation and stick on. This reminds me of something you'd throw at your ceiling just for it to like fall down eventually because it sticks up there. Ditto is a stunner. I love the VMAX as well. I think it should sell for a lot more. I don't think the resale is like crazy on that card. What do you guys think? Is there a saying like fourth time's the charm? There better be, I swear. Let's get into the fourth 40 packs. Gee whiz. Now guys, I don't want to say this, but this is our fourth EV VMAX, alright? So, 
say the nasty happens. Say something crazy happens like we open up. Oh gosh, this is this is really sealed. This could be good news, guys. Every time a booster has a thick spine and really sealed like that, should be able to get good stuff. But say the worst happens, right? Everything goes down the gurgler. And if we open a hundred packs to reveal that we get nothing at all. Do I continue search for the Charizard? I honestly think I'm gonna quit after this. I don't foresee Uncle Endo really- Oh, that's not bad! This is a good sign! Another shiny starter! I, this is crazy! Raboot this time? Get around Raboot, one of my favorites. And Galarian Weezing, low-key god pack right there. It's a bit of like an easy one, bit of an easy like massage into the god pack. But yeah. Do you want Uncle Ando to keep the series going? Search for the Shining Charizard. I'd have to know because I reckon we've gone all in. This is like the ando has gone crazy moment. Opening up all these right now. And I don't know how many packs it would take us. Like, we could probably get 278 or whatever the official ratio is. We could get that many packs out on the table and just go through them all until I get it. But that'd just be so expensive. I don't know. At that rate, you might as well buy it, because I reckon Charizard's only worth like 600 as a raw card, maybe? Probably worth about 600 bucks. And that is literally six, if that, if that, it's about six or five ETBs. Oh, jeez, we're doing the wrong thing. I hope we're not, though. I want to have that satisfaction. Oh, Dreepy Shiny as well! This is good, this is good. We're getting into the Shinies, and I'm praying. Dreepy, those big eyeballs are attracting the Suicune. That's what, if we're not getting full arts, I want that. Um, but yeah, we're not doing the right method. But I think as far as like Ando trying to pull the card, being so determined that you guys, me, the chair, Uncle Ando's just gonna pull it, and it's gonna be the greatest feeling ever. Like the euphoric. Oh god, it, I can't even describe it with words. It, you, you're gonna witness history be made if we get it. But I only do it if you guys want to see it. Go down, Yanmar, and a feeble as the hollow. Now, quite scary. We're about halfway through this pack, or halfway through this box already. This recap is gonna be bananas. 10 EV promos. My EV promo draw already is disgusting. So then to add this many to it as well, it's gonna be just crazy town. Shield, Float Cell, the wacky, Chew Tool, EV. Oh gosh, they're going everywhere. Horsey as well, Cacnea, Shinx. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that we're gonna get a full arch uh, shiny this time round, or do you think they've given up? Do you think they're like, nah, Ando's had his luck. The rest of them are not gonna even contain shiny full arts. I'm hoping that's not gonna be the case. Boozil, Rowlet, Trap Inch. But I knew it. I knew they. Oh. You get some dud ones. Okay, four boosters left, guys. This is where you hit the emergency panic button and you head into the panic room right now. Because after this, what? I think this, yeah, after this, I've got one more and then we're halfway through all the packs. That is so scary. Grookey, the odds are not in our favor at all. More Pico, good gosh. A nice $2.50 greeting card. <sighs> breathe everyone, you just gotta breathe. Greedent, you go to the back. Three to go. And these, oh, this is a tough cookie, look at that. Doesn't want to be opened at all. Surely, this is going to be the one with the full light inside. Let's have some uh, similar luck to that first ETB we opened up with Skylight. That was the good stuff. Swing it around. I think I saw some shadows at the back. Hopefully it wasn't the normal set and was part of Shiny Bolt. Cramorant, Shinx, Coughing, Horsey, Grookey, Morpico! I think it's something in the back. You ready? A Velto Amazing Rare and El Creamy as the full art card. I saw the silver. I thought, no way. Is this a weird error pack where we got a shiny as well? But El Creamy looks like it's coming through. Look at that. Sparkle and texture. Man, Shining Fates is a massive, awesome set for a particular reason. Look at the choice of cards. It's fantastic. Granted, I think a lot of you guys prefer uh, Hidden Fates. But I guess after a while, you know, it's been a couple of months now. What do you think? Are you still Hidden Fates? Or are you thinking, you know what? Shining Fates, low-key, bit of a banger. I don't know. I think they're both good in their own respect. I think you got to study the Shiny list and work out what Shiny set has more of your favorite Pokemon. And that's probably how you determine it. But Hidden Fates is the original and does hold a special place in my heart. Now, seriously, I know we got the full art ice cream pie right there. But I really just want... A Pokemon full art right now. 
This is the final one. Then we're on to the official halfway mark of the ETBs. There's the code card for from the back. Unlisted Leaf. Rusted Sword, Luxio, the Wacky. Ooh, got the Golosopher, Cacnea, Qfant, Boozil. Oh, Cremorant, that's fantastic! Yo, it's another one I really need. This is what I'm liking. This is why doing this set is fantastic, guys. Because you get the Pokemon cards I need for the binder. If you guys want to see a binder update, smash the like button. Let me know down in the description. But, Green-Eyed Cremorant and Holo Luxray. Yum! Please, Arceus, if you're up there. Let this be the box! Alrighty guys, this is it. We are officially going to cross over the halfway point and are you feeling confident or not at this point? Okay, so we got EVV Max for the 100th time. Let's put you at the back. We're also going to have to do something about that recap because... Gee whiz, that's um... That's really getting quite thick right now. But, if we're to think some positive thoughts right now, say we're going to get the Charizard. You know, it's guaranteed, whatever. Should be showing up at any minute. I'm expecting it. I invited it to dinner. What do we grade it with? Like, PSA right now, PSA is currently closed. They're trying to catch up with submissions. Do we go with CGC because of the fast turnaround? Or do we go with Beckett? Oh, that's not bad! My favorite green alien to Doom right there, Chutal Shiny! Oh, that's actually really nice. I don't think I've actually got that one. And another Bird Keeper Full Art. Till this day, I never actually have one of these. This is my first one. Um, on that first ETB, but now I've got three of them in one session. Shootal as the shiny. Look, he looks like a balloon green alien, doesn't he? So let's put him to the side. We'll put Bird, bird uh, Keeper Full Art down there as well. But if we were to grade the Charizard, what service would you want to go with? I think this is a really good question. I asked it in another video and you guys are getting quite heated in the comments. Would you want to see it go through CGC, or would you want to see it get graded with Beckett because it could come back to Black Label? Uh, or, you can actually go through PSA, but it would cost an absolute fortune right now. So, let me know, because I think if I did pull it, I'd want to get it graded. It'd just be like, oh my gosh. I would have it on its own, like, pedestal up in the collection room, because the work that we put in to try and acquire that card, like, all of this, all these episodes, all this money... It would, oh, I don't know, like PSA would be awesome for the slab, but CGC would be great because I could have it really fast. Becca would be <laughs> awesome. I mean, ditto V, not bad, but Becca would be awesome because it could come back to Black Label if it's a really nice quality one. Or would you say, like, wait till you pull it, see what the condition's like, and then that can vary what service you want to send it into. I think that's probably what the, uh, you know, responsible, reasonable answer is, but let me know down below, what would you want to see it graded with? Coughing. Frostmoth Reverse. Every time I see Reverse, it's like a kick in the gonads. Okay, let's open this one up. This is the halfway point of the halfway booster box. There you guys go. Four from the back. Come on, shiny full lot. Let's go. Or blue shiny Suicune. Snom, Trap Inch, Nickit, Boozil, Cacnea Reverse, and Dreadnought Regular Rare. It feels so sad opening up all these as well. I want to give some away to you guys. Please, Arceus, let the Charizard be in one soon so I can give away a bunch of everyone else. Unlisted Leaf, Tropius, Rotom, Cremorant, Eevee, Horsey, Cacnea, got the Shinx, Nickit, Impotent right there, and a Crobat V-Card. I mean, I'm getting everything leading up to good old Grimstar for sure now. Look at him. He literally looks like Dennis the Menace, doesn't he? Okay, Impidim Shiny, and then Crobat V. I love the Crobat V Shiny um, boxes that they got out at the moment, the premium collections. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. Let's go four from the back. Electric type. Eldegoss, Dartrix, Luxio, Morpico, Eevee. Got the Colossopher behind that one. Coughing. Got the Cacnea. Dude, I'm telling you, these are all reverses. Where did they pluck all of these ETBs from? There's another code. I swear you guys are going to get like 100 million Zards and I'll just be out here chilling with all my regular rares. Cramorant. But you know what? Maybe we we'll have to do like a, you know, I don't know, a recap soon. So I'm generally curious what we got. Don't do it to me. I saw red. I saw red and my heart, boom. It just dropped. It dropped. Dude. Shiny full art center scorch V card. Looks like it's the shiny of the box right there. Gorgeous looking card. We have pulled this one before, but like, I think what gets me is the troll. I I swear it was red. It was like silver. Today, today is a rough day. If we, 
Oh gosh, we're, yep. We're gonna open 50 packs and not come across one thing that was on the checklist. It's gotta be on the last 50 though, doesn't it? Let's do it. We got Firesight. Oh, then we got Rotom. Cramorant. Rusted Shield. Cacnea. Horsey. Qfont. Shootsall. Yanmar. Professor's Research. And Decidueye. Well, let's open up the final one. Pikachu. I'm going to put all these cards to the side, I think. And that'll mark off the halfway point. So this is the 50th pack. Jeez, what a weird statement. The 50th booster. What do you guys think? Is it going to be on this one? It would be crazy if it was on this one. Rotom, Snom, Grookey, Eevee, Morpico, Shootzel. It's Golosopher, which is a shiny, it is a gorgeous Pokemon, and another Ditto V card right there. <laughs> How do we get another one? That's classic. Okay, Golosopher, shiny. Good color scheme, awesome texture, but ladies and gentlemen, Let's keep going. Are you looking at this? Does this look like an Eevee that's gonna have the goods, little Timmy? It better be. I swear, this- oh my gosh. There's only four left after this one, guys. Alright, so the recap is uh, to the side. The first 50 boosters, that recap is right here to my left. And we're gonna start building up the recap for the right-hand side. But hopefully, it's not gonna be needing it to be that big because- oh my gosh. Charizard, wait your turn. Because it's gonna be in this one. It's gonna be in the 51st booster pack. Cramorant, Eevee, Glossopher, Yanma. Come on, give me. Oh my goodness! It does the nasty again! Indeedy Shiny Full of B and a Hollow Luxoray. Indeedy, you absolutely slight. Uh, should we put. I don't know. Because I feel like once I pulled the Full Art, the chances of us getting another Full Art are like ridiculously low. So I almost want to put this to the side, get another couple of packs out. And discover, like, once we got the full art shiny out of that one. Do you think? Because they'd roughly only give you one shiny full art per... Oh, I'm gonna do a 500 IQ play right here. Put these... Because I want to maximize how many I give away to you guys. So I feel like we've discovered the full art for this one. And now I want to open up the next ETB and find the full art. Alright guys, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna open up the next ETB until we find the full art shiny for this one. And then if we uh, don't have the Charizard, we'll keep doing that and put these boosters to the side. Because I'm hoping that we'll come across the Charizard and then I'll get to give away the rest of the packs, if you know what I mean. Alright, this could be the best plan ever or it could be the worst. There's the next lot and this is the uh, next lot of boosters. Gee whiz, what are we doing? So let's open up this. And so we find what the shiny full art is for this ETB. And if it's not the Charizard, then we'll just open up the next one. And I'll hopefully amass an amount of boosters that can be used as a giveaway for you guys at home. Because I know you guys are really keen on Shining Fates. Shootzel, Spinarax, got the q -fart, and Decidueye as the Hollow. Come on, Corvic Knight. Bit of a fan favorite. I do love a good Corvic Knight card. That was a really square cut code card as well. I'm gonna say the printing job on some of these are a real hit and miss. Fire type. That's gotta be a sign, doesn't it? Dartrix, Rotom, Rusted Sword, Boozil, Rowlet, Trap Inch, Snom, Grookey, Reverse Rillaboom, and another Hollow. This time it's Indeedy. Think you love that all Hollows come as shiny cards in this set as well. There's the code card. Four once again. Psychic, Thwacky, Shield, Rotom, Spinarak, Snom, Horsey, oh gosh, Rowlet, Morpico. Dude, I swear, if that was a hollow, would have literally eaten a banana. Okay, put you to the side. Do you reckon that was something? I saw a bit of a shine, and I re it's, oh, it's either the reverse or it was like a shiny. Because it was right in the middle where the uh, shiny card would have been. Coughing, Horsey, Rookie, Morpico, Spinarak. It was nothing. Trap Inch Reverse. It trolls Uncle Ando. Are you thinking this is going to have something? Like, there's no way. We've had nothing so far in this ETB. And it's not going to provide the goods. Rotom, Sword, Luxio, Morpico, Coughing, Glossopher, Rowlet, q -fart. It's a Kyogre as the Amazing Rare. But then it's going to hit us with that Dreadnought. Yo, we're going to go through this whole ETB, aren't we? Oh, gosh. Maybe we should open those boosters. What am I thinking? Okay, you know what? Let's just do it. We're doing one ETB at a time. Ando can't play mind games. I'm trying to out-troll Pokemon, the biggest troll ever made to Universe Kind. Spinarak, Shinx, 
double again. Are you kidding me? And a Crobat as the V-card. Why? Double? We've got 10,000 doubles, whether it's a full art or regular shiny. I think this is a big troll because back in the day, I used to do live streams. And all I would hunt for was shiny Wooloo. So the fact now I'm getting shiny double is ridiculous. There is only three after this. Unlisted Leaf, come on. Luxio, Floatel, Dartrix, Coughing, Trap Inch, Rowlet, Shootle. Yun Mega. Third to last booster right here. Open this up, swing it around. There's the code card. Okay, third to last one. What do you think? Lightning type, Cramorant, Rotom, Sword, Boozil, Yanma, Trap Inch, and then... <gasps> it's a... <laughs> That's our full art of the thing, isn't it? Rillaboom V full art shiny card. Of course it's Rillaboom. Ironically, it's like the holo that was already in the uh, booster. I mean, the ETV right there and Zerud regular rare. Look at him with his six pack. Or he's actually only got a four pack and then like the two lower leaves right there. It's a good looking card. Like, don't get me wrong, it's gorgeous. I just think it's common because I know when I look up the price for that, it's only like eight bucks. She whiz. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just do it. Let's finish off the final two boosters here. I don't think we can out-troll Pokemon, as I said. Looks like it's just a random, like, you know, should be about one full up per ETB. But it's never going to be that full up that we want. And also, it, full up VMAXs seem tricky to get. I'm hope. Oh, glaring wheezing. I'm hoping right now we get a bit of an error one and we can find another shiny full up of some kind. Although this kind of worked. Do you think it did or not really? Let's see what the final booster has. Sword, Ball Guy, The Wacky, Boozil, Nickit, Cacnea, Qfont, Eevee, Mr. Rhyme as the Shiny, and a Rose Full Art. He's on vacation, boys. Like, he, he knows what's up. Look at that. Absolute lad. And then we got Galarian, Mr. Rhyme. Absolutely beautiful cards. Definitely gonna go in the uh, Binder Collection. The texture's bananas on Mr. Rhyme. Rose full lot, absolute staple. Now, I'm going to keep opening up the left-hand side. I'll put them on the uh, screen right there. I think let's do it. We could, could you imagine if it is on this one? That would be the most hilarious thing ever. Maybe it just sat there and absorbed all the pulls. But maybe Suicune's on this one, so we might be okay. Boozil, got the Rowlet. And Applin, there you go. Big old Granny Smith apple right there. You've got to have Applin to make up your apple pies, so no uh, dissing in the comments. And Professor's Research. She, I don't know what I'm more keen for, but I think low-key, the fact that all these EVP maxes are going to be lined up on the recap, it's going to be such a good feeling. And I'm generally curious if every, if someone's going to take every single code card today. Like, is there going to be a, a hundred people out there that's individually taking each code? Whoa, Pierce Fuller, nice! Yo, Pierce, I mean, I've had some battles with this man, trying to track him down in Champion's Path. But guess who's arrived? Ding dong, it's Uncle Lando. And it's sort of just, a, it's uh, low key just occurring to me right now. And I need some therapy in the comments, but there's only three ETBs after this, after we've opened all these boosters. Cramorant, The Wacky, Spinarak, Shinx, Coughing, Horsey, Grookey. That's it, five, five to go. Oh God. This is such a bad idea. I think the, the regret is really sinking in, and the reality of that ratio being 1 in 270 is really just dawning on me. I mean, I do think I've opened up 300 packs of this, but I just think it's not going to be our day today. I, I gotta think positive. Come on, it's alright. Ender, you could have bought a nice something rather, I don't know, something for a thousand bucks, but instead you bought this booster case, and it's going to be worth it. Let's do it. We got Electric, Sword, Float Cell, Dartrix, Golosopher, Cacnea, Qfont. This is just kind of confirming my theory. Once you get your shiny full art, pause it, open up a new uh, ETB, and see what the shiny full art per ETB is. If we don't get anything on this one, I'll keep doing that for the other ones, the last three. Just so we got something to give away to you guys at home. <gasps> Bottleby in that beautiful black and white old school Bottleby shiny form right there. Gorgeous texture. Put that rabbit at the back. We got Frostmoth Hollow Card. But ladies and gentlemen, there are three boosters left on this side. And we're praying for a bit of an error box right now. I would take a Skylar as well once again. That's what we did start things off with. How's it I double up on Skylar? Double up on Eternatus Gold Cards. I double up on everything under the sun. Except for cards that we're gunning for. Speaking of Eternatus, we actually haven't pulled a gold card just yet. 
Hopefully it didn't jinx it, but hopefully something's around the corner. Unlisted lead, this is the second to last pack, and then we've hit our 70th pack. This is our 69th booster, guys. Of course, of course, see the 69th pack has a troll of Center Scorch once again. This time it's shiny Center Scorch, guys. And a holo Rillaboom. Okay, it's a bit of a troll. This whole pack was a troll. Center Scorch right there. Okay. Mm, all right, let's go, boys. Open up the 70th booster. And I'm curious if there is any type. Should I just open the final ugh, 30 right there? I don't know. The wacky Cramorant, because it's like, this is less than the booster box to go right now. Boozil, Shinx, we're really banking on less than the booster box to come through. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to open up the last 30, have the 30 packs lined up, three EVs going at the back, and then as soon as we get what we need, I can give the rest away. Let's do it. This is for you guys, this is for me, the collection, everyone at home that has liked the video. That's an Ando. Let's do Search for the Charizard, but no hold back edition. You're going broke edition. You're officially looking at the last and final three Eevees that will make up 100 Shining Fates boosters opened in one video. One of the craziest Uncle Ando challenges I've ever set for myself. For a holiday set that, that we are now doing way past any sort of holiday, the closest thing would probably be like, I don't know, Easter that was behind us or Halloween that's coming up. And we're in the middle of both of those bad boys, if you know what I mean. So this is an interesting challenge. The fact we are now, what, on our 71st booster? Oh my gosh, and we're pulling Granny Smith apples. We're doubling up, which is like, oh my gosh. Okay, this is a good start. This is a great start, actually. God pack on the first one. Our creamy V fuller and a Granny Smith apple. Now, this is where it's either very promising or absolutely terrifying. The fact we are doubling up. Because it means that maybe we've just had bad luck in pulling him out, but in one of these three piles is definitely going to be the Charizard because they've gone and picked around, I don't know, the dud booster, the other ETBs that didn't have Charizard in them, if that made any sense at all. So it could work like that, but it could also mean that they've picked out 10 of the ETBs that had nothing to do with the Charizard. They like picked around the good ones and gave us the absolute poo poo ones. And it's also really strange. That we're opening up roughly a hundred packs now, and we still haven't come across a gold card. <gasps> oh, sugar! Okay, that's okay, that's okay. Because I thought as soon as I get my full art, as soon as I get Galarian Weezing Holo card. Sorry, let's put you at the back. This is going to be the one of the craziest recaps. But look at that. As soon as we get our full art, this to the side. Let's start this one. So we're going to work out the full art from every pack because usually there's one shiny per um, boost a lot. Look at this. Absolutely sealed up. And I figure out once we've done that, then it's like you hit panic button. You hit the big red button and we slowly figure out what's in the rest of them. Rusted sword, got the spinner racks. But the goal here is to really dissect the crazy pull and then being able to seal up each of the remaining packs in small baggies. So you guys in the comments can absolutely go to town. We got a Psychic type, Cramorant, Bull Guy. I'm gonna ship anywhere in the world. So even if you know, I don't know, people in America, the UK, I know I've got a few fans in Russia. That was pretty crazy. I actually shipped a bunch of my merchandise when I released my binders and they sold out pretty quick. Um, a few orders came from Russia, which I was blown away by. So shout out from everyone watching over there. I'll even ship there. I'm gonna give away these packs to anywhere that can't get Shining Fates, or even if you're in Australia and they are sold out at the time of recording. Yo, Qfon Shiny looking gorgeous! Regular Shiny and Volcanion. I will ship anywhere. Now, let's get busy. Let's get Shinies. Let's get the Shiny Town. Alright, so we got Water Type, Float Cell. Genuinely curious. Like, you and me are on the same journey right now at the same time. We both have no idea what's around the corner, <laughs> but we're doing it together. And I just want to thank you, like, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. I honestly, I love spending pretty much all my money on uh, Pokemon cards, and the only way I can do that is you thumbsing up the videos saying, Uncle Ando, we're going to keep watching. Um, you open up all these packs. Luxio, Chutel, what's the shiny going to be though, guys? Horsey. And then, bro. Has this one even got a shiny inside of it? Open this one, swing it around. And 
Defense, we've got an unlisted leaf type. Got a Thwacky, Rotom, Rusted Sword, Cacnea, Chutzel, Eevee, Naked, Horsey. Oh my goodness. Let me just quickly reset the camera right there so that camera doesn't fall asleep. You know, you just gotta wiggle the mouse once in a while when you're watching Netflix to make sure it doesn't fall asleep on you. That's what I'm gonna do with this camera. This camera gets really angry at me. All right, this is like, oh my gosh, look at this. Three to go after this one, and the whole ETB is over with. Definitely has to be building up to something. The wacky, Cramorant. I smell burning. Oh my god, I smell burning. Why is there is something on fire right now, and it's not just my bank account? Do you smell that? It's this camera! It's- I swear it's- Oh my god, this camera is all on fire! If- If this video ever surfaces... If that is the SD card melting, I swear. No way. What if I get Charizard and this camera- Oh no, I've dropped it! What was it? Are you serious? Are you kidding me? The one pass that I'm in shambles with, I go and pull the Eternatus Gold Card full art! Seriously, that camera is smelling like smoke right now. Why there's so much going on right now? Eternatus V! I knew there had to be something on this one because it was giving us nothing at all. Look at that. It's the one I haven't pulled as much, the regular V. I pulled a stack of the VMAXs. But what is this ratio? So this card is technically greater than what we're opening right now. It's one in whatever. So in that same ratio, like it's not crazy that we should be getting a Charizard, but... Okay, let's put Eternatus VMAX at the back. We are on a roll right now. I'm also terrified this camera's gonna blow up at any moment. Ditto V. There is too much happening in this video. But yo, that's a gorgeous looking gold card. And I was thinking, I was just thinking, I'm like, hmm. Pretty weird we haven't got a gold card just yet. Now, let's put these two at the back right there, or to this pile. Because I reckon there's nothing in there. That was our full up haul. Actually... No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Gold cards are randomly inserted. Let's open up the final two, actually. Yeah. I still reckon we should, might be able to get something right here. Because when I've opened up other stuff, usually the gold card's actually a random insertion. It doesn't actually take up a spot. And I'm hoping that's the case. Especially with us getting nothing at all. Oh! Boys. Rotom shiny. Or just pink right there. It's an amazing, it's almost like a lava, like a neon lava color pink. And this is the second booster right here. Do you reckon? Possible shiny? That would be absolutely killer. Here we go. Psychic, Team Yeltsao, Dartrix, Luxio, Trapinch, Snom, Grookey, Spinarak, Shinx. <gasps> you can't keep doing it, but there is, there is. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Gold cards are randomly inserted. Jeez, of course it is gonna be Lapras V Full Art. Absolute banger, really gorgeous card, and Thievul as the Holo. Okay, let's put you guys to the side. There are so many cards right here. And then, the final 10. Pikachu, you gotta hold up these cards right here. This is it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's find out what the Full Art Shiny is for this ETB, and then really, your guess is as good as mine. As if this is going to pull out with something. Sword? Oh gosh, guys! This is like the 80 something, 80 whatever number booster. Philosopher. Oh, what the heck? Draco's old fuller? I mean, not fuller. Shiny? Heck yeah, I didn't know he was in the set. Look at that ring of purple, black and white. Amazing! That is a really, really cool shiny. And I didn't even know that was in the set. That's completely surprised to me right now. Draco's old shiny right there, black and white with the purple ring around him. Put that one in the back. And what are we dealing with here? We'll open you up, pull you to the side, swing it around. And that's definitely got nothing to. Oh, by the way, how have we not got Sweetcorn as well today? Another. Like, this isn't even our first 100 Shining Fates opening, it's our second one. Oh, I swear I was meant to get a full art in that one. I thought I saw a glimpse of something. It shows, like, I'm seeing things. I'm getting deja vu now. I'm like in a mirage desert of just Pokemon cards, ETBs, empty bank accounts, more Pico, Nickit. Oh, wow. Eevee, Cramorant, and a Frostmoth. I've got... I'm, you know what? When we lay out the uh, recap... Let's work out what we doubled up on the most, because I'm genuinely curious. And also, these uh, booster packs are very easy to crack open. 
Jim Trainer, Cramorant once again, Tropius, Coughing, Glossfer, Rowlet, Qfont, Spinarak. Oh my goodness. Galarian Surfetched with a big old leak right there. Golden Duck. And I'm not talking about the Chinese menu item. Volcanion. Is it is okay, does anyone else realize that this right here, these stacks of packs, are the only chances of us right now getting a Zard? And then, and then there's the little Timmy, little Caitlyn over on Twitter. Oh, they're, oh, they're busy tweeting me every minute of the day about how it was their first ever pack from Walmart. Oh, there was a couple of Shining Fates, and guess what I did? Pulled a Charizard. Oh, that's funny. It was my first ever Pikachu box. Got the Charizard. And yet, I still cannot track it down. I just, I feel bad as well. Like, what if we pull it now? I'm giving away 10 packs. Maybe I'll just give one pack to a whole, like, 10 different people. Ball Guy, Dartrix, Elder Ghost, Coughing, Trap Inch, Rowlet, Chutzel, or Pico. <gasps> we double up on a Rillaboom shiny, but this still isn't our full art, alright guys? Rillaboom maybe a double up. And if we get the shiny, it's not Zard, we gotta hope for an error on that one. That, that's gonna spit out a second shiny. Fighting, Sword, Dartrix, Ball Guy, Trap Inch, Brazil. Dude, Eevee, and there we go. I want the shiny version of this card. Ditto VMAX. Beautiful. Now let's go three. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Open this one up. And then there's just two after that one. Four, and this is our third to last one. Do you think it's going to be on this one? I don't know. Shield, Elder Goss, Cramorant, Snom, Trap Inch, Nicket, Boozil, Shinx. Oh, it's Reshiram! So it's still possible! I think we've got all the amazing rares, haven't we? Definitely. We should have them all by now, definitely. Second last pack. It's gotta be on this one. Come on! 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 There's the code card. I kissed it. It's gonna be magical, alright? That's got Nando smooch on it. And if it, Hazel's got anything to say about it, she uh, Hazel actually doesn't like my kisses. I'll try to kiss the dog sometimes, like, come here, but she runs away. And I think that's probably what the Charizard's done. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's all down to this pack right now. Or we've just got to hope for an absolute error right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not, I'm not even going to do the card trick. I'm just going to open this. I'm not going to look. Close my eyes. Does it look like there's a Zard in there? Oh, no. What's that? It's a... Oh. It's a Phalanx. Put that to the side. It's a Hollow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my god, I've never felt so sick in my life. <laughs> camera is definitely on fire. If I don't upload again, the camera's broken. I killed the camera. I'm gonna do that again. Close my eyes, does it look like Charizard's in there? Three, two, one. It looks like it's an Indeedee. And a Celebi. Open the next one. Bro, these are, these are packs that are in our 90s. Our 90th lot of packs right here. I'm not gonna look. Do you see it? Oh, Rowlet Reverse. Professor's Research. Is this the fire? Oh gosh, this is the 95th pack. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanna apologize. I am so sorry. Should I give away the final pack or should I open it? I don't know. I'm gonna close my eyes again. What is it? Dude, dude, this is not looking good. Okay, let's do the last properly. It's the final four. Charizard. I can't, I don't even, I don't, I don't wanna do it. I just don't wanna look, I just don't wanna look. It's too painful to do the card tricks. I feel like my anxiety goes to the roof. Team Yeltao and Decidui Hobo. No, seriously. Final three, we gotta really pull out a stop. Come on. If it's on the final three, I will buy another ETB to give away to you guys at home. Swing it around. Darkness type right here. Dartrix, Cramorant, Rusted Shield, Coughing, Philosopher, Cacnea, Chutzel, Eevee. Bunnelby as the shiny. The 99th booster is Toxtricity right here. Let's open you up, push you to the side. I mean, come on, even a gold card right now would be okay. You ready? Electric, Sword, Trainer, The Wacky, Q 
Qfont, Schutzel, Yanma, Morpico, EV. This is it. It is all down. Does it smell like a Charizard? What do you think? It smell like a... Uh, absolute... Oh gosh. It smell like an absolute disaster? Put you to the side. Do you see any... So I see a bit of shine actually. I see a bit of shine. Oh my gosh. Could this mean something? Should we... Okay, let's do it. Let's do it properly. There's the final code. Let's go. You ready? Oh no. Okay. It's fighting. Shield, Rotom, Float Cell, Q Fun, Glossopher, Snom, Coughing, Mr. Mime, Shiny is going to be the final and 100th booster pack. Let's have a recap. Alrighty Pikachu, this is the recap everyone's been waiting for. This is what 100 Shining Fates booster packs get you. Um, I'll put on screen right now what the ratios are and then you can look at this recap and sort of compare it. Did we get a fair amount of full arts and shinies? I reckon we did. I think this is pretty spot on what the ratio thinks but oh, it still kills me a little bit that we didn't either get the Suicune or the Charizard and I got a bad feeling this might actually be our final ever Shining Fates video. It's getting so tough to track down more boxes, and I honestly don't even know if you guys would want to even see me open another booster pack, and I completely understand. Like, we've done so much. Let's just go from the top, though. On the recap today, we actually got a crazy amount, aka 10 EVP Max promo cards. I think this is the highlight for me, personally. I love collecting promos, and the fact they're all in the baggie, and they look pretty good, like none of them are folded in half or like done some weird origami in the box, so I'm happy about that. Then we got our return to gold card. I'm not going to complain, especially apparently when the ratio is 1 in 150. So I think we did rather well getting that one right there because the odds really weren't in our favor. As we come down, I think the full art shinies, maybe they're a bit light. Like I feel like we probably needed one or two more. Um, but I think the highlight was easily the Ditto Full Art V-Card. That's my favorite bit of shining chewing gum. Um, and then we doubled up on the double, which is pretty crazy. But then when you come down here, whole bunch of Full Art cards. And it's crazy that one of the first Full Arts we pulled was Skylar, right? But then we went on to pull three Bird Keeper Full Arts and two Al Creamies. That's something else. But then we come down here and we got the shiny bad boys. Now I actually think we got a really nice cross section right here. Really fan favorite one is Cramorant right there. The burnt orange Cramorant looks amazing. Uh, we've also got Morgrim as well. And we've also got Impotent, which is pretty cool. We got three shiny Far Links, which is ridiculous. I'm quite happy we didn't double up on the Center Scorch though. And we've got two Rillabooms and two uh, Granny Smith Apples, the Applins up there. Then we come down here, we've got the amazing reds. You don't really need to touch on those too much. We got four of them. It kind of puts in perspective though how rare they actually are. And then we got the V Maxes and V Cards. It's pretty crazy. We got three Dittos and then pretty much two of everything else, like two more Pico V Maxes, two Crobats, but we also got two Greedents and a Ditto V Max. And then we got the Hollows. I don't know about you guys, but this doesn't look like that many hollows. But while I was opening and like, you know, we're in the middle of the hunt, it felt like we were getting so many more. So guys, this right here is an official 100 booster pack recap. What do you guys think? Is this the end? Is this the finale episode? Does Ando hang up his hat and officially quit? I feel like I've uh, burnt the budget on this one, but I mean, if you guys really want to, I'll keep going. But for now, I feel like this might be the end of a chapter. Until next time. I'm sorry and keep on gaming.